Okay, so in the last lecture, we were able to successfully design our location bar. Now, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add our menu icon, our center marker, this a marker image, and our favorite places button. So let's go into Visual Studio and get this done pretty quickly. All right. So now the first thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add the menu icon. So the menu icon is simply going to be an image. So before we go ahead and drag an image view into our view controller, let's go ahead and import the image that we're going to be using. So I'm going to go to Solution Explorer and I'm going to open my Assets folder and I'm going to create a new image set. I'm going to call this menu small. Alright, so let's go ahead and open our image resource folder, the one we downloaded at the beginning of this course. So we're going to go ahead and find the menu small folder. Okay, so these are the image that we're going to be making use of. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this and put it in the 1x. And this is for 2x. So this is a bigger size of the image. So I'm going to drag it and put it here. And lastly, we're going to drag this and put this here as well. Alright, so now that we've successfully imported the image, so we're going to use Ctrl S to save our project. So let's go ahead and close this. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add an image view to our view controller. So I'm going to go ahead and search for image. Alright, so this is our image view, so I'm going to drag it all the way to this point. Alright. So I need to reduce the size, so I can easily just go to the properties and provide a predefined size. So I can set the width to be 60 and set the height to be 62, it should just be roughly the same thing. Okay, so this is our image, so I think the size of the image is too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and reduce it. Right, so I think this will suffice. Okay, so let's go ahead and set an image to this image that we just added. Okay, so here the image is going to be menu small. Alright, so that's showing appropriately. And the final thing that we need to do with regard to our menu image is to go ahead and provide an auto sizing profile. So this is just be okay as an auto sizing profile. So we just want it to just retain its position, whichever screen size that we're running our application on. Okay, now the last thing we need to do for our menu is to go ahead and provide a name for it. So we're going to call it menu button. Alright, so that's all we need to do. So I can easily push this up a little bit more. Okay, so this will do. So let's go ahead and add a center image or a center marker. So we're going to go to a solution explorer because we need to import the image first of all into our resource folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add the file. So this is the image that we're going to be using as our marker image. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and click open to import it into our project. Alright, so after the image has been successfully imported, we need to go to our toolbox and drag an image view into our design. So this needs to be in the center of the page. So I think this is the center of the page. Okay, but before then we need to resize it. Alright, let's go into the property window and make further edits. So let's go ahead and set the image property. So I'm going to try to drop down. I'm going to select marker green 4. I think that's what we named the image. So this is the image that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and ensure that this is well centralized. So the point where the two tiny vertical and horizontal lines cross, that should be the middle ground. So we can go ahead and drop our marker there. So let's go ahead and provide auto sizing profile for our center marker. So we're going to go to layout. So we're going to go ahead and remove all the profiles. The reason is because we we'll always want this to be in the middle of application. So as you can see here, it will always remain at the center. So I can go ahead and reduce the width to say 62. And reduce this to say 60. 
okay so let's go ahead and confirm that this is still in the center all right now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add favorite places button so we're going to have it somewhere around here so i'm going to simply go to our toolbox and drag a button to our design all right so let's go ahead and increase the size of this button okay so we need to go to the properties first of all the widget properties we're going to set the test color to be white and the title of the button is going to be my favorite places all right the next thing we need to do will be to set the background color of this particular button so the background color is going to be color ascent so i think there's a couple of things that we still need to do to this button so we're going to return to the properties i'm going to set some corner reduce so the corner reduce is going to be four and we're going to go ahead and increase the height i'm going to increase the height of the button to 40 and i'm going to increase the width to 220 all right now the next thing we need to do will be to provide auto sizing profile Okay, so we want to anchor this button to the bottom part of the design. So this is very okay. So this is the auto sizing profile that we're going to be making use of. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and centralize this button. So currently it is not in the middle of application. So we're going to put it in the middle. Alright, so I think this is basically all that we need to do. So before we forget, we need to go ahead and provide the name. So I'm going to name this favorite places button okay so and lastly we can choose to add some shadow around this button so to do that we can easily go into our main view controller so we can go ahead and write some few lines of code that is going to further stylize our button so what we want to do will be to add some shadow to the button so we can easily go ahead and say favorite button favorite places button rather dot layer dot shadow opacity so I'm going to set this to 0.2f so 0.2f stands for 0.2 floating point so I'm going to have favorite places button dot layer dot shadow radius so I'm going to set the shadow radius to 1 alright so this is basically all that we need to do so to confirm that our design is ready, we're going to go ahead and run our app on the simulator so that we can confirm everything and proceed. Alright, so our app is starting. Okay, so we have our design. So I think something is not very proper with our menu. So we need to go ahead and sort this out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Okay, so all we can simply do is to go ahead and push our menu button up a little bit. I think it's too close to our location bar. So we can just push it up a little bit and I just think that that would be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and confirm that everything is in order. Okay, so congratulations guys, we we'll successfully designed our main page. Now in the next lecture, we're going to go ahead and start setting up Google Map in our application. So as soon as you're ready, head over to the next video so that we can get started. See you in the next class.